Good Friday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you and uh, you've prepared to meet the day. Hopefully you had a good night's rest. You've been taking care of yourself. I want to share something with you this morning that I've got on my mind and it is um, often said, and I've said it many times and doing what I do with hospice uh, work as well, it is so evident that uh, none of us know the day or the time, the hour or the place uh, where we will pass. Uh, we may suspect and we may say, you know, I don't want to die in a hospital. I want to die at home. Or some of us may say, you know, um, this is where I want to uh, to be buried when I, when I pass. And we may lay out some things, but um, when it's all said and done, the ultimate day of our going to meet our maker is all in the hands of God. What is in your hands today is how you conduct your business while you are here and the things that you consider to be important in your life. Now, hopefully today, if you have family, um, they are of the utmost importance to you and that you uh, look after them, take care of them, love them, support them. Uh, but then what is it that you do with your life. If I could ask you today, what are the things that you chase? Now, some of you may say, George, I'm too old to chase anything. What are some of the dreams that you have? And I'm not saying that all those things are bad because they're definitely not. You got to have ambitions and goals or you're not going to get anywhere in life other than sitting on the couch or in the lazy boy. So somewhere there are ambitions and goals that we reach for and strive for. But if your desire is only for material things of this life and you haven't figured out yet that you're going to leave all that behind one day, then you've got a problem. And uh, my prayer is today that if you're listening to this, you understand that yes, you can take the goods and the materials from this life to support yourself, to support your family, to support the causes that you look at and say are favorable favorable to you uh, and are good causes. And, and if it's financial, um, you know, you can give um, until your bank account is almost dry. You can hoard up. Um, you can gain. You can uh, have... A four-car garage with four cars in it. You can have a, a big house. You can have every room full of stuff. But it's still going to leave here. One of these days when we leave, the scripture gives an interesting twist on this. And, and it's written by Solomon. So we believe the scripture says the wisest man that ever lived the knowledge that God had given him. But listen to what Solomon says here. Uh, in the book of Ecclesiastes, in chapter 2 and verse 15, he says, Then said I in my heart, As it happeneth to the fool, so it happeneth even to me. And why was I then more wise? Then I said in my heart that this also is vanity, for there is no remembrance of the wise man more than of the fool forever, seeing that which now is in the days to come shall all be forgotten. And how dieth the wise man as the fool? We all die, he's saying. Everything that we do, um, we do only while we have breath and exist here. But that breath will stop one day. Life will stop. It will stop the same for a president or a princess or a king as it will a pauper or a beggar as a person sitting by the side of the road and has the sign says, I will work for food, we will all pass. Some will be buried with a lot more extravagance. Some will be, in, I've seen people buried in boxes that, that almost looked like a, um, a cheap ring box made out of material that you would, but you know what? They're not going to know that. Some people be buried in, in a casket that is made of the finest material. But you know what? They're not going to know that. We're all going to die. We're not going to take anything with us. And so what do we do? Live life 
to the best here. Be kind to people. Love people. Give God your heart and give away God to everybody you come in contact with. There are people today, and it is so evident to me, doing these daily devotions and pastoring that church and working with hospice, that there are times I say things, and I'll even hear something from one of these broadcasts sometime and think, you know, it was a few days after I said that, not even knowing, because it's not me knowing it anyhow it was God, and something happened in someone's life, and I think, wow. Maybe God was just trying to give them a little bit of encouragement before that came along. Maybe God was trying to give them a little bit of instruction before that happened. Uh, but God loves us today. Solomon says here, we're all going to die. We're all going to die. This. And then he says, <laughs> And who knoweth whether he shall be a wise man or a fool, yet he shall have rule over all my labor wherein I have labored. And where I've showed myself wise. So he's saying that someone else is going to have everything I got when I'm gone. This guitar here was my father's. 1974 D28 Martin. It was his. But you know what? He's gone. This guitar here was my grandfather's, 1936 Gibson. But you know what? He's gone. Someone else has them. Yes, I'm in the family, and that's great, but when I'm gone, who's to say what will happen with them? Someone is going to drive your car. Someone's going to live in your home. All the things that you accumulate... One day you will leave here. The most important thing is having your heart right with God. All the things we can work for. Like I said, nothing wrong with dreams, hopes, ambitions. We're at a time where uh, high school graduates are graduating, although it's a little modified and it's different than what it's been for others in the past. So we're at graduation time. <laughs> and some may graduate and the next day wake up and say, uh, what just happened there? <laughs> I spent all that time in this routine and now that routine's over and guess what? New routine starts. It's called work. <laughs> and uh, you do that until you don't anymore. And then what? One of these days we go to be with the Lord. This song's been a favorite of mine since I heard it. It just talks about you ain't taking nothing with you when you go. Baker Moore's plane went down three miles south of town on a 40 acre farm he foreclosed on. I can hear him Say now, money's what it's all about. But I can safely say that he's dead wrong. The last suit you wear won't need no pocket. can't take it with you when you go when that hand full of dirt goes back into the earth what you be worth only heaven got a dress for success and he wore the very best that money could buy he made a fortune 
in his time. Now he leaves it all behind. They ought to write this on the stone there where he lies. The last suit you wear won't need no pockets. You can't When that handful of dirt goes back into the earth, what you be worth only heaven knows. Lord, I thank you today for what you've given us. And God, I pray that you will help us all to understand the gravity of uh, the time that we are allotted here. God, help us not to waste any of it, Lord, but to use it to be a witness for you to try to see others make it home as well. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, folks, see you Saturday.